Hi everyone, it's Toila here from OSHA Slings and um, thank you for joining me this afternoon. As promised, uh, I'm back this week with a little bit of a gifting edit uh, for any of you who are starting to think about Christmas and uh, either treating a loved one or treating yourself. Um, if anyone could share the link into the clan and let me know when you've done that, that would be great. Thank you. Um, so before I get started, I'll just um, maybe have a wee chat. How's everybody's weekend been? Hi, Emmanuel. Um, I had an amazing weekend. Uh, went up north in Scotland and the weather was beautiful. And I saw polar bears for the first time in my life. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Thanks for joining. Um, we had a great time. Kids had a great time. It was just, yeah, it was lovely. Uh, you know, when something's better than you think it's going to be. It, it was like that. So we're all kind of quite happy for a Monday, uh, which is really nice. Um, so I'll just wait for a few more people to join. Hi, Deborah. Thanks for joining. Becky says, I heard there was a new cub. Yes. So uh, the new cub is actually almost a year old. So I think his birthday is in December. Um, and he was born. Yeah, he was born last year. So we did get to see him playing in his pool with his mum kind of watching on. Uh, and then there's the two kind of big male polar bears who were being fed. Uh, surprisingly enough, lunch for them was carrots and apples, which I wasn't expecting. So you learn new things all the time. Um, but yes, the cub Brody is very cute, uh, very playful. So that was, yeah, that was as engaging as you can imagine for two small kids and parents as well. So highly recommend if you're ever in the Highlands in Scotland, Highland Wildlife Park, it's a good place to go. Um, I'll just have a look to see who else is here. Oh, Vajana says, hi, it was a sunny weekend in Croatia. Oh, very jealous. Yeah, I think you have a lot more sun than we do. Hi, Helen. Hi, in North Cumbria. I'm imagining your weather might have been similar to ours. Cool, but mostly dry, hopefully. Hi, Danielle. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining. So, uh, a little question to start us off since we're talking about gifting. Um, do you prefer receiving a surprise as a gift or do you like to choose what you're getting and be very specific or do you like to get a voucher so you can sort of choose and maybe it's kind of a surprise depending where it's from? Have a think, let me know. Um, oh, Kerry says it's frigid in Ottawa. Oh yeah, sorry, that might be one of the few places that's actually colder than here, <laughs> but it's beautiful over there. Um, Jamie loves a surprise. Yeah, I think I like a surprise too. <laughs> Curious to see what you all think. Um, so I will get started um, and firstly take you through the restock of our throws. So I'll take you through those and then I'll give you the sneak peeks of the, the wraps we've got coming. And then I'll finish up with um, a few bits and pieces from that we have coming or that are just come into stock, uh, just to give you some ideas if you need inspiration. Um, so we have our uh, restock of Rohan Entwash on our teal grad, which is this lovely kind of light teal through a kind of mid shade and into that darker tone there. Um, see if I can stand back far enough to actually show you all, try and give you a look at that. But yes, we have these back in. They're lovely and drapey and super snuggly. So very good gift, I, I imagine, um, for anyone, but especially those Middle Earth lovers in your life or for yourself. <laughs> Why not? So those are back and we're very excited. So they'll be, all of the, these ones will be uh, released on Wednesday evening at 7.30. Um, so the second one in that range is our Map of Middle Earth Moonlit, again on the same teal grad and just picked out in an ecru pattern weft there. So showing all the detail of that map pattern. Did I say Map of Middle Earth? I meant Realm of Middle Earth. I might have misspoken, apologies if I did. <laughs> oh, but that's, uh, yeah, back and looking lovely. Um, so you can see this one's woven, it's an ecru 
Becca says, currently wrapped up in this round fiddler throw. It's awesome. Yeah, it is so snuggly. I love it. I have one in the same blend. Um, I have a Lothlorien. Um, but yeah, the brushed cotton is just brilliant. Um, so this one's woven on, it's actually on a black warp. So with uh, the ecru weft over the top, it kind of gives that almost like a silvery look. Um, so yeah, it's really, this is a really special one. So very happy that they've come back in. Um, and in addition, we've also got uh, the Rohan Entwash baby blankets. So we actually, I actually don't have one yet to show you because they've, they're so hot off the press, they're literally still being stitched up. So I've got a similar, well, so it's a bit the same size. And this is our Puffins Bass Rock baby blanket. So um, they're here too, of course. Uh, but yes, the Rohan, um, baby blanket comes with the medallion centered on the throw so it's in sort of portrait form with the Rohan pattern and um, so that's those there. So moving on to uh, what you've hopefully all been waiting for, the, um, the two sneak peeks we promised you. So on our, um, both of these were done using um, yarns that were in stock and we'd had sort of sitting around and the quantities are too small for us to do a, a real um, a release run but there's still some lovely yarns and uh, every so often we, we think there's a, a good combination so we like to make up something that's one of a kind um, and hopefully that some of you will get excited about. Um, Claudia says would it be possible one day to see a loom shot for throws? That's a good idea. I'm trying to think if we have any. Um, I'll check what we have and certainly next time um, I'll ask if we can have some photos taken. That's a really good idea, Claudia. Um, yeah, they do look a bit different on the loom than the wraps do because obviously they weave at the full width instead of the wraps which are side by side so you get two in the width. So yeah, that would be a good one to, to add to our uh, stash of photos. So the first wrap I have to show you is this Realm of Middle-earth uh, charted. So this is on our classic jungle warp, so the same warp as uh, Victoriana Hunter and Shire West Farthing. <laughs> um, so it's just a really kind of classic colourway um, picked out in this Ecru uh, Ecotech cotton blended yarn. So this was the same weft as was used on Arwen Aliant. I don't know if that's how you say it, um, but on the Deep Rainbow Warp uh, that we brought out last, I think that came out last year. Um, so Ecotech, um, the yarn is actually a blend between um, BCI organic cotton and Ecotech cotton. And Ecotech uses uh, pre-consumer waste clippings from knitting and weaving companies to make up new yarns. So um, this actually has a really like, nice softness to it. Often you find with recycled yarns, because especially with cottons, they tend to be shorter staple. And uh, so they're, they just have a bit more fullness in them. So they, they have that nice kind of, almost a squishy kind of feel um, to them when you kind of have them in hand. So it's, uh, Helen says, sorry, what was the name? Realm of Middle-earth charted. So this one here. Uh, so yes, the Ecotech cotton is uh, a recycled yarn as well, so we're making extra use of um, this one that was in stock and hopefully something that a few of you will get excited about. So a very limited run, just a short run, so we have uh, just six size sevens of this one and they'll be um, released during the Secret Stash Happy Hour on Wednesday. And um, so that's that one coming there. Um, I won't wrap with this one because uh, I'll wrap with the next one we've got. So this one, I think, I'm very excited about this, is um, Misty Mountains Hinterland. So we have our, uh, Emmanuel says, will we be draw to purchase? Yeah, draw to purchase. Sorry, I'm sometimes not quite uh, down with the lingo, so <laughs> yeah, do check me if I'm not explaining myself or being clear. Um, so yes, Lydia, yes, very limited. So I uh, have to be quick for these. So this one 
is on the um, the earthwork that we recently released and she's a beauty I think so in this one we have alternating single ply confetti shantung tussa silk and ecru barrette silk running alternating with each other across that grad and I think this is just stunning look at the texture so yeah I'll just let you enjoy that for a moment there <laughs> yeah this is really beautiful I think possibly the lighting here doesn't even really do it justice but you have um, a pale yellow fleck coming from the Shantan Tussa and then of course the little irregularities and loops from the barrette yarn um, running alongside that as well. So it's <laughs> it's a really um, unique blend, I think, as well for us. We haven't actually, I don't think we've combined these two before. Um, so I'll just pop this on and show you quickly how it looks. Um, so yes, Tussa and barrette. <laughs> dangerous combination possibly um, but lovely so that's kind of just even as I'm putting that on it feels really thin in hand and um, very drapey so the weight of this is about 297 GSM um, and the blend is 55% BCI organic combed cotton 27% uh, barrette silk and 18% uh, the confetti shantung tussa. So um, almost 50% silk in this between the two textures, um, but feels really, um, also, yes, <laughs> but also unfortunately super limited. So this one has one size five, two size sixes, and four size sevens. So this will be a draw to purchase as well. Um, so for the size six as a guide price, that's uh, 197 X fat. Um, so yes, very limited, but, but if you're loving the blend, we may um, very well bring back something similar. In a future round of designs. So there we go, just get that one there. just see all those lovely flecky details coming through in that kind of starry sky. <laughs> Emmanuel, oh yes, well, you know, there's always a silver lining to everything. <laughs> oh. We do our best. So yeah, that's Misty Mountains Hinterland. Susan says, never enough misty mountains. Oh yes, I know there are certain patterns which are just always good. So here we go. Um, just check if you've got any questions. Oh, lots of love for this one. Um, Elise says, the Anna, sorry, the flecks look like stars. Yeah, I think they do. It just suits so well with this pattern to have that texture running through it. Um, so yes. Uh, that's decided. We will definitely find somewhere to fit this. Oh, sorry, there was a question here. Helen, I've missed your question. Viscous Tussa and Barrette or Normal Tussa? Oh, Normal Tussa. So uh, the 100% Confetti Shantung Tussa yarn and 100% Barrette silk alternating. Um, so yes, no viscous in this one. Uh, there we go. But it is single ply. Uh, instead of the two ply that we sometimes have. Uh, so that's maybe where there was a bit of a difference from our standard. Um, so there we go, that's Misty Mountains Hinterland. So I hope I've encouraged you all to join in on Wednesday and uh, yes, get in there <laughs> for the draw to purchases. 
Um, so I promised I'd finish up with a few little extras just for this for the end. Um, if you're needing any kind of gifting inspiration. Uh, Danielle says, how much is size five Misty Mountains? Um, I'll maybe ask uh, Holly to look up the price of that. So as a guide, the size six was 197 X VAT. Um, but yes, we can look up uh, the exact price of the size five for you. Um, and for the Realm of Middle Earth Charted, uh, the size sevens, because there's only size sevens available, they were uh, £157 X VAT. So hopefully that gives you the, the info you need. Um, so we have obviously on our site we have various other things that make wonderful gifts. So here for example is one of our recent releases, uh, Briarwood, on this um, lovely crimson warp. So these are the sail lightweight scarves. Um, this one is a cashmere blend. I've not made my uh, usual uh, detailed notes so I don't have the exact blend to hand but this one is a cotton cashmere uh, blended weft so it's got lovely cushy softness um, and that's lovely for baby wearers and non-baby wearers alike obviously and this particular one we think has a very Christmassy feel about it and um, there's a good range of colours up on uh, the website too. Um, and the same goes for the throws, uh, actually, I should add. Those ones I've showed you the restocks of, that's our brushed cotton throws. We also have um, our casual and cotton blended uh, ones, and uh, those are also whip stitched like the cotton ones are. So with this edging here. And then we have several that are in our newer uh, merino lamb's wool and wool blend. Uh, and those are pearled, so they have the fringing at the either at the short end. So just for a different look, depending on what you prefer. Um, then what else have we got? New tote bags. So uh, a lot of you may have seen the uh, puffins and Okanami ones on the website. Uh, Lydia says, oh, did I miss the new Annie totes? No, here they are. <laughs> so um, we've got Misty Mountains, because you can never have enough. <laughs> there we go. They're just picked out in that lovely kind of dusky blue. It's almost got a denim look to it. Uh, so that's the gusset there, just to give it a good base and hold open and the logo on the side. So that's a really nice format for sort of carrying around all of your everyday essentials. And then we also have Oaken Shield, which I think this one is fantastic. So I've just popped, um, popped something in there just to give it a bit of body so you can see how that looks kind of when it's being worn. Really handy strap length, I think, easy to get into, to access and yeah, a nice wide base so that you can stand it and get into all your all your things. So, yeah, uh, is the open shield with black? Yes, the open shield is black on the natural organic cotton. Um, totes, as far as I'm aware, are not limited. I don't have the pricing details, but again, I think I will ask um, Holly or Adele to get back to you on that question. Um, Claudia says, could you make them into wraps? <laughs> well, we will consider that. <laughs> um, there we go. So that's those two totes. Um, also great if you're looking for an ethical way to wrap your gifts, you can pop a load of um, lovely goodies inside there. Uh, so inside my Oaken Shield tote, I also have, because it was coming through production, um, an example of a carrier in our um, realm of Middle Earth ink pattern. So although this is this is actually a nook uh, which is going out to a customer on the um, the recent made to order that we held for our stock fabrics. Um, but if you needed any inspiration for a Keras, um, that gives you kind of an idea of how that would look with the. Um, panel there and the webbing at the sides and how that sort of 
just the look and feel of that and how the pattern sits on the panel. Obviously the Keras panel size is slightly different but um, it's, it's quite close. Um, so that's that if you're looking to treat yourself and little items we have are um, key rings. There's going to be uh, more key rings coming onto the website uh, in our classic fabrics so look out for those. That's not one of our classic fabrics but just as an example so that you can sort of see how they look. Most of you I'm sure are very familiar with these already um, but just in case. <laughs> there you go. And the last thing, uh, and last time I showed you our new mugs that are coming through, the new um, shape and size we have, and some of you asked how that compares to the, the old large size of mugs. So for a side by side, uh, here is Rings of Power and our Shire mug in the previous large size. So in terms of volume, they're both the same. They both hold 480 mil. Um, just a slightly different shape so this one is maybe about a centimeter shorter than this one um, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how that will fit into your cupboard into your mug shelf <laughs> onto your bedside table wherever you need to fit a mug um, Right, let me scroll through. I've been seeing there's quite a few comments and questions, so I'll just scroll back through and make sure I've got caught them all. Um, da, da, da. So, oh. Lydia says, last Christmas time there was an epic Misty Mountains release. Is there anything similar coming this year, please? Well, I think those things are subjective. We have got what we hope are some lovely Christmas releases. Um, it won't be exactly similar to that one. Uh, I think you're talking about Misty Mountain's Long Forgotten Gold. Um, we don't have anything that's like that visually, but we do have some uh, hopefully Christmas geared releases. So fingers crossed uh, you like those when they come along. Um, Uh, yes, long forgotten gold. <laughs> um, any pocket weave Middle Earth before Christmas? Yes, I think so. Um, I don't have our release calendar in my head just now, but I think there will be. Um, I'll double check that though, or I'll ask Holly or Adele to um, double check me on that, on the timeline of things. Um, but we do have some coming through. Uh, pocket weave middle earth fabric so yes keep an eye out um personally i love the old middle misty mountains mug shape as a smaller alternative to my larger ones ah yes i think mugs are such a personal choice aren't they um i know a lot of people like a really nice big bucket of coffee in the morning so i think we might have gone with um majority vote on that but um, there's always room for some variety, so who knows? Keep an eye out. Uh, so I hope, yeah, I think that's all the questions that you've had. I hope I've captured everything and given you just a good look across what we have currently in stock, some things that are coming through. Obviously for things like key rings and um, carers carriers and similar things, uh, as well as the classics fabrics, do keep an eye on what the releases are coming up because each time we um, have a new release there is a week where you can order uh, made to order items uh, so any product that uh, we have we do uh, at no extra cost and you can order that to be made up in the fabric of your choice so that's also something nice to keep an eye on um, before Christmas season and if you have any gifts in mind or treats for yourself uh, so I think that is everything let me just check uh, that I've covered everything I wanted to uh, yes if you need any further inspiration we do have uh, gift guides on our blog so I encourage you to go and check those out um, thank you for joining me getting excited about Christmas um, I hope you all get the surprises or the wished for gifts that you want 
Um, Susan says the new ore warp. Yes, I should mention there is at the moment um, a semi custom with a slight difference running at the moment. So it's um, on our updated version of the ore warp, which was released a few years back. Uh, so if you're keen on fiery oranges and reds and deep blacks and drama in your patterns, uh, head over to the Middle Earth Collectors group where they're currently polling, um, I think, pattern polling and uh, then the weft pairing will start. I'm not entirely sure of the timeline, but it's early on enough that you can go and join, get involved, uh, cast your vote for the fibres and patterns and yarns that you love and um, yeah, see what happens. I think it will be a beautiful collection. Um, there's some really lovely mock-ups showing up in there. So um, yeah, lots happening. Um, and I will be back again next week, I believe, with uh, some new releases. So in the meantime, thank you very much for joining and have a good week, everyone. Bye.